Hi everyone, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Today we're going to show you a Newmar Dutch Star. This is a 2022 model and this is the 4081 floor plan. Right now, inventory is everything. It's, coaches are very hard with all the shortages from the pandemic. Coaches are very hard to come by. It can be any one item short, and if it's something we can't source from somebody else, uh, they can't build a motorhome. This upcoming year, the 2023 model year, is going to be uh, greatly affected by a tremendous shortage on generators, for example. Nobody else wants to get in the generator industry, and Onan's having trouble uh, sourcing the engines for their generators, and we're having trouble building uh, motorhomes because of that. So that's where we're at so right now i have this in stock it just arrived and it is available so that's the number one reason you should consider this 2022 4081 now the number two reason is everything's gotten pushed back this year normally we would start to see coaches arrive in late july maybe early august for the next model year for the 2023 model year well the few things we do know about the 2023 model year number one things are going to go later um, we probably won't see 2023s on dealers lots in any numbers until maybe september that's number one and number two there was a tremendous price increase for dutch star to the tune of about hundred thousand dollars this exact same coach that i'm standing in now with a few updates on it because dutch star did get a facelift for for 2023 but this exact same coach would be over seven hundred thousand dollars for next year Right now, this has an MSRP of just over six, $606,832. And um, obviously we would give you a nice discount on top of that. Nobody's paying anywhere near sticker price for these. Um, as far as the way this is equipped, this on the outside has the Mirage graphics. This interior decor is Wiley decor. And these cabinets are the Bermuda glazed maple with the uh, high gloss finish on them. So that's a little bit about what we're gonna look at. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, as we go through, um, I will just uh, show you different items and tell you as much as I can about it in short order. I don't want to spend too much time on any one item because we want to keep these videos interesting and keep, keep it moving here. First of all, let's start here. Um, this is a uh, different, uh, actually a, a newer and arguably better uh, inverter than they've used in the past. I'd love to tell you they're switching to these. They actually aren't. They were, they're, they were using this on a handful of units because they were having shortages with the uh, Magnum uh, inverters. This is actually a Victron, which I know of some very high-end applications using this. So I think that's something that you would actually like. You can tell uh, it's a nice touch screen to control it. It's showing you that we have power coming in from the grid. Uh, um, and uh, going down and charging the batteries. I, I kind of like the display there, the way that works, but that is your inverter. Above that, we have our Wi-Fi router. Um, so that's gonna extend your Wi-Fi range and give you the capability, if you wanted to sign up with AT&T or T-Mobile, something like that, um, to buy data from them, you could actually do that through your cellular network as well. We have our WineGuard uh, power antenna here that will help seek out channels and it, it doesn't have to crank up or down is the beautiful thing so you can't accidentally leave your antenna up. Uh, these are our controls for our, our Oasis system. Oasis is our hydronic heating. Um, hydronic heating means we do not have a propane system. This is an all electric coach, no propane to worry about. The primary heating system on this coach is through the hydronic system. And uh, this coach uh, uses either diesel fuel or electric to, to heat with. As we come over here, we have some controls for uh, security lights, our block heater. This turns on the in-motion satellite dish. Yes, you can watch satellite TV while going down the road. This turns our exterior step on and off. And, and the reason for that switch is you can leave it like it is now. Um, it's set to where when the door opens and you're parked somewhere, the step will just stay out. And even when you close the door, the step stays out. If I flip that switch, the step's gonna come in and out um, every time you open or close the door. The nice part about this, there is an override built into this where if the door is closed and the ignition key is on, it doesn't matter the position of this switch, that step is coming in. So you can't accidentally leave your step out. And then we have some below slide uh, LED ground effects lighting um, that are controlled right here. Move over one more. This runs our front two slides in and out. The control for that is here. We'll drop down a row. This is our touchscreen system. Um, this will tell us how much is in our batteries, how much is in our holding tanks. We can turn our water pump off and on here as well. This coach even has an auto fill feature. So if we've been hooked up to city water at the campground for a couple of weeks, but we know tomorrow's the day we're leaving, you hit the auto fill button and you wake up tomorrow morning with a full fresh water tank ready to hit the road. 
our energy management system is right here. This is going to tell you um, how much uh, power or amperage any individual unit is, any individual appliance is drawing. Um, it will also keep you under a uh, preset limit. So if you're on a 30 amp circuit, uh, 30 amp service um, at a campground, um, this will keep you under 30 amps so that you don't keep popping the circuit breaker out at the post. This is our awning control for the little over the door awning. And then this is our main awning control for the built-in Girard Nova awnings that are built into the top contour of the coach. Uh, we might It's a calm enough day today, I think we'll be able to show you those later. All right, moving on, we did option in the front TV. Now I get a lot of questions on this. Why, Chris, when we have such great viewing angles back here and a bigger TV, why do we need this TV up here? Well, two reasons. First of all, there's still a segment of the population that grew up with RVs that were always in this front overhead, and some people still like it there. That's kind of, that generation's dying off a little bit. Sorry if you're that generation. Um, but not as many people are wanting that now, but that is one reason. But the, the more important reason, now we know this coach is, is primarily built for two people. It'll sleep four, but... Let's say you do have some friends over and the game's on, you wanna watch the game and you're sitting in your recliner chairs here and I'm sitting here. Well, that's gonna be a big shiny dome in front of your uh, uh, football game. So that's not a, great, uh, not a great thing there. So if you had multiple people over sitting on the sofa, uh, you could still turn on the front TV and watch it. So that's the reason that TV's there. And the other part of that is TVs have gotten so inexpensive uh, that it's really not a big deal to put that in. And back when, you know, uh, flat panel TVs were three, $4,000 a piece, you didn't put extra TVs anywhere. But now, you know, they're, they've, they've gotten very inexpensive. So that works. All right, as we come forward, this coach is built on a chassis, uh, on a chassis, on a Spartan chassis. How about that? Out of Charlotte, Michigan. This coach has a 450 horsepower engine with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. We do have a digital dash in here as well. I didn't bring the keys out with me, but this all lights up digitally. It even has tire pressure monitoring built into the coach as well. Of course, this features Newmar's Comfort Drive. If you're not familiar with Newmar Comfort Drive, that's way too much to explain in this video without getting very long-winded about it. But if you go to your YouTube search engine and type in Mount Comfort RV Comfort Drive, we did exclusive videos on Comfort Drive that show you the benefits of that. The, uh, in a nutshell, this coach will drive better than any other motorhome out there. And I know talk is cheap. Come call me out on it. Come take a test drive with me. You will see. Um, it's, it's not talk. It's not subtle. It's nearly the difference. I wouldn't say it's quite this difference, but it's almost as big a difference as a car without power steering compared to a car with power steering. It's, it's noticeable, believe me. Um, all right. As we come up here for coach controls, we'll start at the left, left of the driver here. We have our automatic HWH leveling system on this coach. Literally, you pull in, you set the brake while your engine's still running. Um, you can run your slides out and then hit the auto level button. Um, and uh, this coach will bring the jacks down and level itself. It's that easy, one touch. Uh, this is our six-speed Allison transmission controller. I don't know if you know this or not, but this is a... Uh, uh, transmission that's high-end enough, it'll actually run diagnostic codes and check the fluid level through this touch panel right here just by you touching a couple of buttons. So how slick is that? As we come forward, we have our traction control override. That's not a button you're going to use very often. Uh, power window on the driver's side. That's wonderful when you're paying tolls. You can dump the air out of your tag axle automatically, or well, manually, I should say. Um, it automatically does it when you drop the coach in reverse. So um, that would be if you're on loose ground or something and you're having trouble getting a little traction, um, you can dump the air out of the, the tag axle bags and that will put more weight on the drive axle, your dually axle. So that's what this is. This does have a, a, a three-stage um, engine brake on it as well. And that three-stage engine brake is for when you're coming down a mountain or uh, wanting to decelerate. Um, all you have to do is take your foot off the gas. The coach will slow itself down. If this is in the off position, you would be stunned. These coaches are heavy. Um, and if, if you're just going down the interstate and you see some flashing lights or something up there and you just let off the gas and that engine brake isn't on, 30 seconds later, you haven't dropped hardly any speed. I mean, this is a, a lot of inertia rolling down the road. And, and, um, work our way around here. This is our uh, main brake uh, for the coaches. You know, diesel pushers do not have a park like a, t a traditional transmission do. They have reverse neutral and drive. Um, so what you do when you're ready to park the coach is you put it in neutral and pull out on this handle. With that handle pulled, it's going nowhere. Two cup holders over here. And then we have USB right here. 
Our battery control right here, this is for if you run one set of your batteries dead. There's two sets of batteries. There's chassis batteries, there's um, house batteries. If one of those sets is dead, you can push this button and it's like putting jumper cables on the other set of batteries. Uh, we have headlight control here, bright and dim feature here, dome light. All of the, the headlights or flashing lights at somebody to say thank you on the interstate, all of that is right here to the driver's left. We have power mirrors, we have the ejection seat, and we have a phone charger, uh, a wireless phone charger right here. Come across to the center console. I love these two bigger screens, um, and I love the setting that we have it on right now. This is a great setting when you're working around a tight spot like a, a gas station or um, you know a tight campground or you want to know how close you are to the picnic table. This is your 360 bird's eye view right here. It's like looking down on the top of the coach. You can see, and it's a very accurate camera um, as to how close you are to items. So that's a wonderful view there. And then we can kind of take this and I can cycle through different views you see here. So this is um, the left and the right and the top. So there's your left camera, right camera and the top. Now these views may seem a little skewed right now and that's because of the slide outs are actually out right now. This camera's calibrated with the slides in, but you still will kind of get the idea as I go through these. This is your top camera and your left side. Hit it again, this is top and right. Hit it again, uh, this is top and front. We could go for a test drive. I'm still tempted to try that with the blind down, but I don't have the guts to do it. Um, and then top and rear focus, so it's kind of showing you when you're backing in what's directly behind you. Um, and front and front focus, and then back to where I had it before, top and rear. So wonderful setup there. Um, so you can kind of see whatever you need to see. Our visor controls for our blinds up in the cab area are up here. Docking lights so you won't back into the picnic table. Our overhead fans, which are our defroster fans, are up here. Our heater from the hydronic heater, which is down in the center control. Controls are up here. Air horn, gotta have an air horn. Um, courtesy lights, our, our visor, everything. All these controls are within the driver's reach and contoured nicely to that side. Now the passenger doesn't have it too bad either. And no, your feet don't just dangle over that little step well. Take a look at this. We've got a nice step cover that comes out. And yes, you can stand on this. That's the same Corian that's used on the countertops and everything else. Very comfortable. This has the extra wide uh, passenger seat with the built-in table, cup holder, and again, USBs. 110 and a uh, wireless charger all at the passenger's uh, right hand side there, easy to get to. Now, Dutch Star is equipped with a uh, touchpad uh, right here at the front door, um, multiplex lighting they call it, and you can walk in the door and just hit these top two buttons at the same time and all the ceiling lights in the coach come off. Also, if you're walking out and you realize you left a light on somewhere, you can hit these bottom two buttons at the same time. All the lights go off. How awesome is that? And right below that, that says floor heat. Floor heat? What are you talking about floor heat? Well, let's talk about that. There are three heating sources on this coach. I've already mentioned one of them being the hydronic heating system. That's our primary heating system. That's the one that's going to get the job done if it's zero degrees outside. A couple of secondary heats that you can use. If it's above 40 degrees, you have heat pumps built into the air, two roof air conditioners. Um, and also, you have floor heat. Now, this can just kind of be for comfort so it doesn't feel cold to your feet, or it can be uh, actually um, heating the coach. If it's above 50 degrees, a lot of my customers tell me that all they use is the floor heat. And the beauty of the floor heat is it's silent. So it, it is not water through our floor. There's a manufacturer out there that actually plums the hydronic system underneath the floor and tries to use PEX plumbing to generate heat. Well, that's a very uneven heat, takes forever to heat up. And I don't think I have to bring up the point of, my goodness, what if we had a leak in that system somewhere? We'd have to start tearing up tile to see where it came from. This is an electric blanket that goes underneath the tiles. Uh, if, if there was ever any type of breakage in it and you had a cold spot in the floor, they literally have a little gun. You can point at the floor and it'll tell you where the break is. We take out one tile, we make the repair, put the tile back down. That's such a much better system. So this coach does have floor heat throughout. Now we have options here. Uh, obviously on this side, we have a, a, a sofa that makes into a bed, perfect to sleep too. You can option in another sofa over here. Actually, standard is another sofa over here, but you can also option in the chairs. I still prefer the chairs. The theater seating's nice as well. I think the chairs are a little more comfortable, but that's me. You may have a different opinion and that's fine. You get a great table in between, built-in cup holders here, storage underneath. Look how big that drawer is. That's where you hide all the remotes. 
All the doors in here are soft touch when you, when you run them back in. These recliners are freestanding. You can pull them out from the wall. You can fully recline. I think it's a great setup. All of the blinds in this coach, these are the day shades that are down now. These are power. There's a couple of remote controls that control that. So you can tell the living room to go all dark and it will do that. Or these are your day shades. You can still see out, but it's not too bright. And then up front, that's a nightshade that you see in the windshield there. It also has a day shade, but that's the nightshade. So every window in here has both. So you can be as private as you want or kind of keep it like this and nobody can see in, but you can still see out. All right, let's get to some of the storage. I'll start on this side. There's those remote controls for the blinds. Okay. A little bit of storage here. Some more storage here and our AV center right here in the middle. As I mentioned, this coach does have an in-motion satellite dish on it. Uh, you can sign up for Dish Network or Direct TV and put your receiver right in there and uh, track TV while going down the road. You could also add a DVD player or something like that if, if uh, you're looking to do that. Good storage. When you look at Newmark cabinets, a few things to know. First of all, this is all hardwood. People talk about their hardwood doors and just about everybody uses hardwood doors. But 90% of the coaches out there, probably a higher percentage than that, do not have hardwood styles. Do not have hardwood slide fascia. Um, this is all hardwood throughout this coach. This is cut, assembled, stained, it at Numar in house. They don't plan on. Uh, they don't send this out to a third party where you can't control uh, the quality of it. This is all done in house. So every bit of wood you see um, in this coach is real wood. Secondly, hidden hinges. When you close these doors, you don't see the hinge. You know, that's, you could do cheaper hinges, uh, easier and, and a, a lot less expensive, but you see them, they're not attractive. So hidden hinges are a nice, nice feature. And then inside the cabinets, you're gonna see these cabinets are all lined inside. That, that's a nice little carpet that's in there that keeps your stuff from sliding around. It also just keeps the coach quieter. That is a sound deadener. So we have a Bose sound bar above, get my big head out of the way here. Uh, we have a Bose soundbar above and a Samsung television. As you go through different RVs, you're going to see a lot of names in the industry you've never seen before, like Seeky and uh, stuff like that. And, and, and it's just, you know, RV manufacturers making huge purchases from China on whatever the cheapest bidder is, and you get these televisions you've never heard of, and, and when it breaks, don't be surprised. Samsung television, Bose sound system, Whirlpool uh, refrigerator, Whirlpool convection microwave. So these are names we know. These are names we can get service on. So that, that's a beautiful thing. Across from the television, uh, above our chairs, let's take a look here. That's all one big cabinet. So if we have longer items or items that are too big for the door, you can kind of slide them in there on the angle. Um, again, hidden hinges, lined cabinet, and you do have a strut in here that holds the cabinet door up. So, and it's a metal strut, not some cheap plastic one. Um, and, and that's just going to make you so you're not the one arm loader. You can actually leave the door open, load what you want and put them back down. The strut also pulls down. So you get it so far, it's pulling down against my hand. That prevents rattling. You want to know why Numars are quieter? This is a big reason why they're quieter. That's actually pulling it down um, against the stops so you don't hear things rattling going down the road. So that's huge. All right. Um, we have control multiplex lighting um, right here on uh, either side of this chair. So you can control different lights throughout the coach. You're going to see those panels located throughout. And then just little things, but you know, we all have our cell phones, our devices, and you know, whether you're team Apple or team Android, you, you, you're gonna need a USB to charge it in. They're built into the wall outlet. So nice setup there. I like the fact that on the window boxes, they're all wood, they're not fabric. Fabrics come and go, fabrics come out of style. It looks great this year, five years from now, you're thinking, what, you know, what was I thinking? Like that. Freestanding chair, this is called the combination dinette. So we'll talk about this a little bit. Um, all this Corian, again, this is all cut, polished, sanded by hand at Numar in Napanee, Indiana. Um, this table does pull out to make it bigger and there's two folding chairs under the bed that match these. Now let's talk about some storage here. I have a nice drawer here. And again, this is gonna be a soft close. Okay, another one here and then one down here. This is set up for files. This is a file cabinet. So this is kind of your, your office, if you will, while you're on the road. Over here, Another drawer, okay, and then we have a, a setup. There's an outlet down in there. There's a plug in there, and that is for plugging in your printer. So you print, you route your printer wires on top right down through here. There's a little spot. If it's not a wireless printer, you can route your cable down through the quarry on there, and then it goes underneath, out of sight, out of mind. How do you like the carpet on the slide out? 
Oh, the other coaches you're looking at have carpet on the slide out. The Dutch Star does not. Um, you get high enough in the Newmar line and carpet goes away. That was a very difficult thing for them to accomplish. It took them going to an entirely different structure underneath, um, including an entirely different slide out, but it's wonderful. It's been out since eh, about 2016 now, and people love it, love not having carpet. All right, let's get to the kitchen. We'll do the uppers first. All right, I'll let you get some good shots in there. That is a 30 inch convection microwave. So it serves as your oven and your uh, microwave all in one. That's a residential unit. That's not some cheap uh, RV unit. All right, got a little storage cabinet over here as well. Come on, Troy, got to get them all in there. I'm going to hear about it on YouTube. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so as we move on through, got a little push button here that's going to pull us out some instant counter space. How about that? Now we have kind of an L shaped kitchen, and then you still have the drawers, and they're huge. Okay, when you're done, just give this a little hip action, and back in it goes. All right, drawers galore. Now you can option in a microwave. We tend not to, although I can add it. If, if you're looking at this video thinking, if that had a microwave, I'd buy it. We can get the kit from Newmar and add it here at the dealership and uh, it will look right and all that good stuff. So um, that's very doable. We find that it's about a 50-50 item. Half the people want it, half the people don't. But we took it one step further and one thing we did notice is the people are, that are already RVers tend to be like 75% of those don't want to waste the, I won't call it waste, don't want to lose the space um, that, that a dishwasher takes up. You lose two of these drawers. Uh, like I said, experienced RVers tend to want the drawers. Um, people that have never done this before tend to want the um, microwave. I'm not here to settle that debate by any, by any uh, stretch, uh, but we're gonna order based on kind of that belief and go from there. And like I said, I can always add a microwave later, or a microwave, a dishwasher later. Love this pull out here. So you can get to what's in the back of the cabinet. The shelves in these are adjustable, beautiful. All right, lots of countertop space on top, but let's look at what's underneath. We have a true induction cooktop. Induction cooktop is uh, something people love because it allows them to have an all electric coach. We don't have to have the propane anymore. That cooktop can be removed. It's just, it's just sitting in there. Um, it pulls out, you can plug it in outside, put it on the picnic table outside if you want to and um, cook out there. And then on the back of this, these are cutting boards as well. How slick is that? All right, put these back. All right, underneath the sink, we have a double bowl. Underneath the sink, underneath the faucet, we have a double bowl uh, stainless steel sink. When you're not using it, just put these back in here. All right, let's get into some lower storage. I'm gonna start over here. In this one, we have two pullouts, one of them being a trash can, room for a second trash can or trash can and recycle, whatever you prefer. There are slots back there, it may be hard to get, but in that corner, Troy, those are little carpeted slots back there. That's so you can put your sink covers in there. When you're, when you're using your sink, you slide those covers right in there. So they, they have their own spot, keeps them nice and secure. All right, drawers we talked about over here. We hadn't done the underneath the sink. I don't think, oh, this is just a little pull out, just a little flip down. All right, so I think that gets us through the kitchen. That hydronic heating that I mentioned, your primary heating system of this coach, and by the way, if you're not familiar with hydronic heating, again, go to YouTube, type in Mount Comfort RV video for hydronic heating and we did a special just on hydronic heating that explains how it works and all that good stuff um, but it's hidden in plain sight this little louver right here that has a heat exchanger behind it that's part of where your heat would come out and they're located throughout the coach there's one here there's one under these two drawers here there's one up under the center console under the hvac controls and under those drawers there's one down there and then there's one back here under this mirror so they're kind of hidden all over the place in plain sight uh and, and you know they don't look bad it's not it looks a lot better than having like vents in the floor that type of thing um, and it's a nice warm quiet heat when it comes out all right let's get to the fridge we have a whirlpool ice maker down below water on the door led lighting inside and it's got a built-in lock, so when you're going down the road, you can lock it and your orange juice stays inside. Our pantry, 
We have six pull-out drawers. You have to push in on these and then pull out, but you get the full extension, so whatever's in the back, you can actually get to. These can be changed. If the height was bothering you, you wanted a taller one for cereal boxes or something, uh, there's just a few adjustments that need to be made, but that can actually be changed. You're not married to that height. You'll see throughout the Newmar coach, little sensors like this. This is called a thermistor. That little guy right there is just talking to the thermostat up front um, so that we're kind of getting uh, a feel for what the entire coach's uh, temperature is, not just uh, up, at the, uh, up at the cabinet. Now the 4081 is a bath and a half floor plan, so I'm going to let Troy get a shot of the half bath and then I'll go in and open all the cabinets so you can see what's in there. This would be the bathroom that if you had guests that they would use in the middle of the night, but also going down the road, this would be everybody's bathroom. Because when the slides are in, unless you're gonna do a somersault over the bed, you're not getting to the rear bath very easily. So now I'm gonna open these just for a second. This is kind of the, the electrics panel, if you will. So we have our circuit breaker panel in here. Um, we have our um, uh, uh, click offs here for our, our uh, floor heat. Uh, they are uh, built into a GFCI circuit, so that, that's what, why they put the outlets in here. Our controlling for our lighting, our 12 volt fuses, spare fuses, it's all in this cabinet right here, but normally you won't spend a lot of time in here. I'm gonna open these up for storage and then let Troy get another shot. Okay, that's most of the storage in there. Take a look. So one feature I forgot to point out, and I shouldn't have, right here. Sorry, Troy, we walked past it already. So this is uh, our central vac system, and there's two ways to hook up to this, okay? Number one, that's like a powered dustpan. You sweep your dirt up, the dog hair, whatever, flip that up, it comes on, sweep the dirt in, it goes away. I didn't even bend over. That's a beautiful part of that, that. I'm in the middle of remodeling my kitchen at home. I'm actually ordering one of these to put in there. Don't tell my wife that's her surprise for the kitchen. I guarantee you she doesn't watch these videos, so she's, I, I'm safe putting that out there. Um, I'd be stunned if she found out. But I'm literally putting one of those in my own house, so that's, that's how much I, I'm, like, I'm tired of chasing dog hair. So then you come back here and you can hook attachments up right here. It comes with a hose kit and uh, so you can get to all the nooks and crannies and they put it right in the center of the coach so that you can get all the way to the front or all the way to the back and make you know easy cleaning. Now, as we go into the bedroom, we do have a great way of making this private. There we go. So this door locks if it's all the way in the open or all the way in the closed position. Uh, so all you have to do is put it there, it's locked in place um, and makes it super easy. So come on in, take a look. We have a king size bed here and this is a sleep number bed, I believe. I better, better look. I completely lied about it being a sleep number bed. This is a nice pillow top mattress, but this is not a sleep number. Uh, this is the type of thing we have to watch because sometimes we order them a little different. It's on both sides of the bed, but they're hidden inside those cabinets, but there's a little slot right under that quarry on there where you can sneak a cord through there so you don't have to see the outlet. Above, we have some storage in here. Okay, storage up top there. And then there's an outlet and in, with that outlet, you can actually plug in a CPAP machine and there's little plugs in here that you remove to run the uh, hoses down through. All of the windows in this coach are dual pane windows. Um, and then you have uh, windows that actually open here. So if you do have a nice night, you want to cross breeze in the bed, you can do that. If we turn around 180 degrees, we're going to find two wardrobe closets here. I'll just open the one, all right? The other one looks just like this one. So two nice places for clothes hanging and then five drawers down below. I know it looks like six, but one of them is just for your bedroom audio visual. All right. TV in the bedroom, again, Samsung, not some off brand. Still no carpet, no carpet anywhere. And then as we step up into the bathroom, there is just a three or four inch step up here. Another pocket door hidden away here that again locks in the open or closed position so even if you took off driving the coach and you forgot the door was half open or something as soon as it went one way or the other uh, closed or open it would lock itself in position so um, i've had coaches before that you start driving them and the doors are manual lock doors and until you come to a stop and deal with it uh, the door every time you take a turn just goes slamming one way or the other 
As we step into the shower, beautiful Corian throughout. It's a good size shower. I can put elbows out and move around in here. We have a seat where I can shave my legs. We have a shower head above, a handheld unit, and a blue light in here. What's that blue light for? Well, let's talk about that. That's called the shower miser feature. Now, a lot of people in this level of coach don't do a lot of boondocking, but some do. So a small percentage do. Boondocking is where we're going someplace and we're not gonna be hooked up to water, we're not gonna be hooked up to electricity. So we're surviving off our generator and whatever water we brought with us. Well, in that case, you're gonna love that shower miser because what the shower miser does is it keeps you from wasting water. Normally, when you go to take a shower, we turn on the hot water, water starts coming out and going down the drain into the gray tank while we're waiting for it to warm up. And while we're waiting, we're, we're doing two things. We're, we're pulling water out of our fresh water tank, which we only have so much of, and we're filling our gray water tank, which we can only hold so much. So both of those are bad. The shower miser, when you turn that shower miser, which is that lower knob in there on, the very bottom knob, you turn that on, you'll hear water start to flow, but nothing comes out of the shower head. And uh, after 30 seconds, a minute, whatever, um, all of a sudden the light changes color changes from blue to another color. Um, and when it changes color, that means your water's hot and you can turn off the bottom knob, turn on your top knob and you'll instantly have hot water. Wonderful feature. We, we weren't filling up the gray tank. We weren't wasting our fresh water. Uh, great feature for those who occasionally do do some boondocking. You'll love that uh, water saving feature. As we open these doors, we have a stackable Splendid washer and dryer. Okay, as we start looking at other storage options, we have another closet here. So whatever stuff didn't fit in the two bedroom closets, this will. Even longer items, you have your ball gowns and your uh, long, uh, long items, you can hang those here as well. And I believe there is a safe back there, okay. And there's a light in here as well, I just didn't turn it on. A couple of drawers here, big drawers. Okay, some storage down below. Three more drawers like this one. Three more over here. Storage down below, okay. And then great countertop space in here. And then look at this. That is a super deep medicine cabinet with a power outlet inside. How awesome is that? And then I love this because this is our spot for like towels and stuff. Well, I guess if you buy it, you can put whatever you want there. I would put my towels here because coaches rarely have a linen closet. Plenty of room around the toilet. We have our emergency egress door. If you don't know about the emergency egress door, it's your option. Well, it's actually standard feature on a lot of new Mars, including this one, but it's a better option than jumping out the window, which is not a very big opening. Um, and you probably wouldn't stick the landing. This is nice. There's a ladder that telescopes out of the bottom of it. If you want to see more about the egress door, Google Mount Comfort RV uh, egress door video, you'll find it. Uh, we did a video just on that. Okay, and then here there's actually storage here. That's gonna be tough to get a shot of, but it was very creative. Instead of having the toilet paper just hanging out here, they put the toilet paper hanger on the inside of this door here. Um, it's very easy to access from the seated position um, and uh, out of sight, out of mind the rest of the time. This is also a heated floor out here too. So when you step out of the shower, you're stepping out onto a warm floor. How awesome is that? All right, so let's go take a look at what this coach looks like when we bring the slide outs in. Okay, so now we're all closed up. This is going down the road mode now. So this is how much space you would have left over if properly closed up. What I mean by properly closed up is I did turn the chairs sideways. And I think when you option in the recliners, that's just something you need to you need to do to really open up your aisle way. So with those two chairs turned sideways, I have a tremendous aisle here. And in fact, I could scoot that chair over a little. I'm not even turning sideways. I'm not even stepping up on the on the other slide there. So all the way back. I can obviously get to the sofa. I could get back here. Heck, I could cook dinner. I don't recommend boiling water going down the road, uh, but super easy to, to work in here. Plenty of room, wash dishes, get to the refrigerator. Okay, and even, of course, get to the bathroom. So now you see why they made that door articulate the way they did, makes it a super wide entry into the bathroom. I can get to the bed. 
I can lay on the bed, I can take a nap on the bed. So this is about as good as it gets for high-end diesel pushers with multiple opposing slides to uh, give you the space that you're looking for going down the road. If, if, if having that available space is important to you, the 4081 with the recliner option is a tremendous uh, feature. Now, if you have a regular sofa here, you're not gonna have quite as much room and the theater seating even a little less. The theater seating is just a little deeper. But that's what we're looking at here uh, with the slide outs closed. Let's go look and see what this coach has to offer us on the outside. Okay, so we're gonna show you the outside. Unfortunately, I'm just not gonna, there's still a little bit too much wind where I'm comfortable opening those uh, main slides. Those things are like $15,000 worth of, uh, not main slides, main awnings. Let's start that over. Okay, so we're gonna show you the outside of the 4081. I'll go all through it with you and show you all the things there are to see. I was gonna open the slide outs, the main slides, but I, there's just a, slide outs are for nice calm days, and this is about $15,000 worth of I'm going to figure out the difference between slide out and awning. All right, take 1002. Ready and action. Okay, so our 4081, the exterior, let's go through this. Now, we do have beautiful slide outs that I want. <laughs> awning! Okay, we're going to take a look at the 4081. I have apparently had a heat stroke because this is like take seven, uh, but uh, let's see if I can get it right this time. The 4081 Dutch Star has beautiful built-in awnings at the top. I was going to open the awnings today, but it's just a little breezy and awnings are really made for nice calm days and uh, I, I'm a little worried about them and it's like $15,000 worth of awnings. So, um, We'll find a nice picture or something with the awnings open to, uh, uh, to show you if need be. Give us a call. Uh, so, so we're going to skip that part, but let's talk about the rest of it. Up front here, we do have our, uh, our diamond shield mask to protect against all the bugs, uh, especially those nasty ones down in Florida that like to eat paint. So you can't really see that on there, but you'll have to take my word for it. It's got a nice film, not only there, down here on the kick plate, where your ring would hit it here, around this, where you might get it with some keys. All of that is protected. We have turn signal activated cameras. We showed you some of the camera system on the inside. When you're driving down the road, you hit your turn signal, um, it will show you what's in your blind spot. We have touchpad uh, keyless entry here with a doorbell. This will unlock or lock your doors and your baggage doors just by punching in your own programmable code. You see all this white stuff on here? That's covering up the beautiful mirrored finish for the stainless steel package that's, that is all the way around this coach. Trust me, when we get this all washed up and peel that off, it looks like a million bucks. All right, as we open this up, we see our fuel filled. This can be filled from either side. There's one of these on both sides. These are the bigger tires, by the way. Uh, these are the 315s. A lot of uh, diesel coaches have like 275s. These are the 315s. That's a much bigger ride. It carries the weight better. It's also independent front suspension on a Dutch Star. So that means whatever vibrations happen to uh, this wheel don't get transferred through, that so through a solid axle to the other wheel where the vibration is going from side to side on the coach. Whatever atrocities happen to this wheel, doesn't affect the other one whatsoever. So it makes for a better ride. Um, it also gives you about a five degree better turn radius. As we come back on this coach, let's start here in this compartment. All right, we're gonna pull this out. Look at this, pull out freezer. They've added a shelf this year. You've got 12 volts and 110 volt power in here. Um, this can be set up as a refrigerator or a freezer. And of course it pulls all the way out. So even if this slide room were out, you can still access this. Okay, I always like to show the basement floors. So our basement floor here is like this thick. Uh, most companies out there use a really thin floor and this is the area, you know, underneath your coach, the basement of your coach, that's where your holding tanks are. That's where your uh, uh, water lines run. This, this is where things will freeze on other coaches. Well, if your basement floor is this thick, how much insulation is in there? None. This is a nice, well-insulated floor with metal underneath to protect against road debris, that type of thing. If you're looking at a coach and it has an adhesive seal on it where it's just stuck uh, you know, with some sort of cheap two-sided tape to the coach, um, you better buy some hot glue because you're going to be putting that on quite a bit. This is an automotive bulb seal with spring steel built into that lip right there and it just goes down on that edge. You can peel the whole thing off and put it right back on. It's going to stick as good as it did the first time. So that's a nice setup there. As we go, 
into the next compartment back. We There's a tray option for this, but we don't like to put trays in every single compartment where it's possible. You lose some height with the tray. The trays are nice. That, that tray in the other compartment pulls out either side. Uh, but, you know, sometimes there's items you want to put taller items in. They have to be able to fit under that frame rail. So you're, the idea here, you put your tall items in here. You put your shorter items in on the other tray. All right, come back one more. This is our pegboard. Now, on most diesel pushers, this door doesn't even open. Uh, on this coach, they went ahead and put it on there. Your holding tanks are what's behind here, and that's the best spot for your holding tanks because it's right in front of your dually axle, which is the best place to carry weight on the coach. So um, your holding tanks are back there and can be accessed if necessary by removing a handful of screws. But they didn't want to just waste this storage, so they gave you a pegboard. You can hang stuff, little cubbies in here. You can put your WD-40 or duct tape, whatever, uh, whatever other goodies you want to put in there. You can certainly do that. These are our docking lights. We saw the light switch for earlier. This is a steerable tag axle. How do you steer it? Well, there's a second steering wheel back in the rear bathroom and somebody sits back there and, okay, that's not how it works. So steerable tag, it's passive steering. What passive steering is, is like the front wheels on your grocery cart. Okay, as you're pushing the grocery cart along and you turn right or left, those wheels understand what direction to go and they're freewheeling and same thing on this coach if you're below 10 miles an hour as you're going forward this coach will actually track and follow you around corners that tightens up the turn radius and uh, makes for a very smooth uh, drive so when you're in those tight spots and you are uh, normally in a situation where you crank the wheel really hard, these tag axles, the coach wants to pivot on this tire, so these tag axles, they kind of get slid or scrubbed sideways across the pavement. That won't do it on here because those tires do actually track and follow you. Here's your emergency egress door from the outside. You can see there's no door handles, no way somebody's breaking into here. There is a deadbolt on it as well, but there's not even steps to get to. Now on the Dutch Star, you have your fill over here for the DEF. DEF is diesel exhaust fluid. If you're not sure what that is, all new diesels made since 2010 have DEF. It's part of the after treatment or the emissions treatment on the engine. Um, it is necessary. You don't use very much of it. It's actually about a gallon for every 50 gallons of fuel. The thing that's nice on this coach, there's a fill here, but there's also a fill on the other side for it. So it just depends on what fuel station you're in, which side you want to fill fuel and or DEF from, but you can do both. I mentioned there were two sets of batteries. These are our chassis batteries. There's actually little disconnects. If you put this coach into storage and it's not going to be plugged in, you can flip both those breakers so that uh, you don't have any residual draw on your battery. All right, moving to the back. One of the things that makes a Dutch Star a Dutch Star is that it is a side radiator coach. Side radiator means there's no radiator right here. We can actually get to our engine. We can change our belt. We can see our engine. We can give it a little hug if we need to. Uh, also, with the Spartan chassis, you have very easy filters to get to here. So they're easy to change. They gave you some good accessibility to that. Uh, and so uh, hats off to Spartan on that. You have a 15,000 pound tow capability on this coach. That is tremendous amount. And then you even have your seven way plug here, which of course you have, and then, but you have an air hook up there. So if you're, you have a vehicle that has air activated brakes, like uh, uh, for your towed, say Air Force One is one brand, but there's other brands out there as well. That actually uh, plugs in to your car and gives you proportional braking as you're, as you're going down the road. You can see two rear cameras on the back there. The top one is our ba actual backup camera. The lower one under the Dutch Star emblem there, that actually is part of our 360 degree camera that you saw. I mentioned side radiator. Here it is out of the way, not, not uh, causing you any grief over here. I mentioned you could fill your DEF from either side. Here's where you do it on the driver's side. We have a very own dedicated compartment for your sewer hose. We don't want it mixing with anything else, so it gets its own space. As we move forward out here, let's take a look in the wet bay. So we have a power hose reel, so you're not having to mess with throwing your hose around and it leaking all over the place. It has its own spot and its power reels itself back in. A whole house water filtration system. Everything is beautifully labeled. There's a spot here to hang some paper towels. We also have uh, an outside shower and it's a nice metal one, not a cheap plastic one. Our siphon hose for winterizing is um, built into the coach. You turn two valves and instead of pulling from the fresh water tank, it's gonna pull from your jug of RV antifreeze. This is a heated compartment. There's one of those heat exchanges we talked about right back in that corner. You really can't see it, I don't think, but 
again, that's one of those you'll have to take my word for it. Your water pump's back there, your main uh, tank drain is back there, and the heat exchanger that heats this compartment is back here. That's why Numars are better than any other coach when it comes to being four season. As we pull forward here, we have our 50 foot, 50 amp shore power cord. Again, it's on a power reel. Uh, so no wrestling that cord and then to the left of that you actually have what's called your transfer switch your transfer switch um, Switches over the coach's power whether you're drawing power from the generator or if you plug into shore power um, It, it is uh, it's going to make sure that the power is getting to the coach and then down below We actually have our hookup for a ground satellite if you're parked under a tree and you're not getting good satellite pickup from your roof mount You can get a little portable satellite dish and put it out in the clearing and that's where you would hook that into all right, we talked about hydronic heating a little earlier. This is the main boiler for the hydronic heating. So this is what the brains of the operation there. It's also your water heater. And the best part about hydronic heating, it's unlimited hot water. If you want to take a 40 minute shower, knock yourself out. You'll have hot water the whole time. Here's the other side of that power tray or power tray of that slide out tray. It's not power, it's a manual tray, but it slides really easy. Um, and it will go out either side. You see there on the, uh, sitting on the tray, those are actually spare tiles from the same box of tiles where the flooring came from. In case you drop a skillet, crack a tile, something like that, they're spare tiles that come with this coach. You'll always have a, a, a matching tile in case of that catastrophe. All right, then in this compartment, we actually have a pull-out tray with eight AGM batteries. AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. Um, they're not a wet cell battery in the sense of that you have to fill and maintain. They're completely maintenance free. Uh, they don't have that off gassing that, that a lead acid battery typically has um, where you're, everything gets rusty in this compartment. That's not the case with these. Um, and they're on a nice pull out tray with a diagram right there. So if you like to do your own maintenance, change out your own batteries, whatever, when it comes time to do that, it will be easy. Numar slide outs are flush mount slides so that they recess back into the wall. Um, other manufacturers just use a plastic strip here to hide the, the, tr the transition, to hide the seam. Numars actually fit back in the wall. That's gonna catch so much less wind, water, any of that. Um, just makes for a much lesser chance of intrusion of any kind. There's our other fuel fill. And then up front, we're gonna have our Spartan Electronics, this is chassis electronics up here, fuses. Again, Numar gave you some spares out here just in case. Um, but this is where the Spartan Electronics would be. That's our generator exhaust pipe, and it is running. It's been running the whole time of this video. It's just a very quiet generator. And then up front, let's take a look up here. All right. We have a hot water line to generator area right here. So if you want to clean the bugs off your windshield, you can do so with hot water. We have this little rip cord right here. And this pulls out. This is the 8KW Onan diesel generator. This will power everything in the coach. Our air horns are up here as well. Nice pull out for serviceability. There we go. All right. I think we've covered the major areas on this Dutch Star. It is for sale and available at Mount Comfort RV. It's in stock. You're not going to see 2023s for months at this point, and they're going to be about $100,000 more, literally $100,000 more. So if you want to take advantage of a 2022, get started with your RV lifestyle right now, please. Um, get in touch with me. Don't forget that part. People come in and say, I saw Chris's video and I bought from this other guy. Not cool. Not cool at all. I don't get paid to do these videos. Help me out a little. If you like the video, you're just getting an education today. Give us a like, subscribe to our page. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. My name's Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. See you next time. Hi everyone, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Today we're going to show you a Dutch Star. This is a 2022 Dutch Star 4081 that just arrived and we want to, inventory is everything at this point. Let me start over. Okay. <laughs>